Hi guys, it's Carrie with Grey Tonic. Today I have a special guest that joined me in Question the Drink private Facebook group, Melissa Sobers. We talk about the importance of breath work, and I forgot to hit the record button when we first started on Zoom. So this is the intro to that episode, and I hope that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I was using the yogic breath, you know, with yoga. I was using kundalini and um, then I just, over time, I started getting exposed to more and more different types of breath techniques and breath work. And um, in March of this year, before all of the stuff started, I had gone to a breath work class in person. And while I'm in the breath work class, I just got this call. It was just like, this, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You are supposed to be bringing this to the world. And I was like, really, really <laughs> this? And then I was like, oh yeah, this is like super powerful. <laughs> of course, yes, 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 okay. And so then I just started on this journey. I, I joined Alchemy of Breath in their training program and um, just started practicing with my friends. And this is the path I'm on now. So this is, yeah. this is my calling to bring, to bring breath work to the world. Awesome. Well, I know you're going to teach us a few things today, yeah. but before you do, I do want to um, let everybody know a few things about the importance of breath. So in our bodies, just so you have a kind of a baseline on why this is so important. We don't usually breathe deeply. We breathe very shallowly most times. We're not cognitively thinking about our breath. Why? Because it's something that we do automatically. It's a subconscious reaction that we do, of course, otherwise we wouldn't be alive. Right. But when we are intentional with our breathing, it can calm the autonomic nervous system, which moves us from a sympathetic state into a parasympathetic state. And the importance of doing that is connecting your mind to your body, and we can do that with breath. So this is the importance of breath I learned about breath work a year ago when I was in Guatemala and we yeah. had a somatic breath work done with a group. There was about a hundred of us in this room and it was 50 minutes of continual breathing in a specific way, which can actually move you into a trans like state. And during that time, it's a lot of trauma healing that can happen in this type of breath work. And although we're not going to do that today, obviously, because that's a whole different experience, Melissa will be teaching us a couple things that you can do practically at home. And, you know, I hear too sometimes that I don't have time to do that, Carrie. I don't have time for this, you know, to add more stuff in. But here's the thing. The beautiful thing about breath work and doing deliberate exercises is that you can do it anywhere, anytime, and most often nobody would even know that you're doing it. And this is part of the saber flow of my own methodology that I use with clients and myself to bring us into a calm state. So this is really important. I'm so excited. So without further ado, what can we learn first? And and I'll and I'll <laughs> practice with you. I don't even know what you're gonna yeah. tell us. So I'm gonna be your well leader. well, first of all, just you know, thank you for that example. That is actually what I'm learning to do is to take people into those breathwork journeys. Yeah. These 40 and 50 and 60 minute journeys where they really do get into a non-ordinary state of consciousness and they can really dig deep into trauma and emotions and, and move all of that stuff. And it, it, that type of breath work really helps us to disconnect our mind from our bodies so that we can drop in and we can access all of that information and those, those messages and we can start to move blocks out of the way. Um, and and that is, that's going to be the primary focus for this new line of work that I'm in. Um, in addition to that, obviously, there are things that you can do every single day. Um, like you said, when you're driving down the street or you're in the line at the grocery store, I even do things like walking around my office or, um, you know, wherever. So um, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, as you mentioned, sympathetic nervous system is our fight or flight and, and parasympathetic is our rest and digest. And a lot of times people are so stressed out and they're overwhelmed and they're in this kind of very anxious, agitated, energized state and, and they want to calm down. And this is a really good way to help with overwhelm, anger, frustration. Um, and instead of checking out and trying to escape and, you know, doing something like getting on social media or drinking alcohol or, 
you know, yelling at your children or whatever the case may be, you can stop and do some of these really easy exercises. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, and some of the benefits, you know, obviously you already said that we can calm down and we can recenter ourselves and, and use them as coping tools. Um, I, I was, I was thinking about this before we met and one of the funny things is, is, is that like, I breathe, I mean, obviously we all breathe all the time. Right. I mean, we breathe 25,000 times a day. That is how many times the average person breathes. Most of us, you know, get into this place where we breathe out of our mouths, right? Breathing out of our mouths instead of our noses puts us in that fight or flight state. So one of the most simple things we can do is to just be really conscious and really aware of our breath and start breathing out of our noses mm -hmm. as much as possible. So that's just like simple number one tip is breathe in and out of your nose. I'm going to take notes. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, you know, some people even breathe in, in and out of their mouth at night and then that makes them mm -hmm. snore. Oh, and yes. Then, you know, there can be all Rock kinds swear. of issues with that. Yeah, exactly. Well, I caught myself doing it the other day. I woke up to it. It was yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. And by the way, you can actually buy tape. This is one of the tapes that you can put over your mouth to keep your mouth closed so that it would kind of, it forces you to breathe in and out of your nose oh. when you're sleeping. So this is just like Amazon. I don't know what they call it. Like, I don't know, mouth tape Amazon or something. Tape that goes over the mouth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I'm writing this down. Yes. Yes. So that's something that could really help people at night when they're trying to get a, a deeper, more relaxed sleep. Awesome. Um, some of the other things that you can do, like I said, really focus on breathing in and out of your nose and be conscious of that. Um, you, you know, we can do things like there's a simple thing called box breathing. Yes. And yeah, so I can show you how to do that real quick. Um, we are going to be essentially, see that joy sign right there and it's a square. We yeah. are going to be doing a box. We're going to be drawing a box on our lungs, essentially with our breath. So we'll be inhaling for four, holding for four, exhaling for four, and then holding for four and then starting the pattern over. Okay, yeah, so let's do it. The box. Okay. All right. So we can keep our eyes open. We can close. Let's just close our eyes. Okay. Okay. And we are going to start the inhale. We'll go inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And you would just do that over and over and over again just to bring yourself into a calmer state. I love box breathing. <clears throat> I was taught that years ago and I heard I don't know what the origin is, but I heard that in the military, when they were under ceasefire, that that's the, the uh, this, whoever's in charge, the officer had yes. taught this to his, his platoon. Yes. When they were in a high stressful situation. Yes. 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 I'm glad you mentioned that. There's actually two books that I have right in front of me. One of them is called Just Breathe. Uh, and he talks all about that. Yes. And another one called Breath. And he also talks about that. So yeah, in the military, in um, obviously in yoga, um, in exercise, different exercise modalities, as well as um, uh, business, you know, for business. Yeah. There's a lot of business people who are starting to look at breath work or these breathing techniques to kind of get themselves calm before starting a meeting or whatever the case yeah. may be. Yeah. And, and this is one exercise breath, the box breathing that is so easily done. You can do it. Like mm. you could be in a meeting or before you're ready to give a presentation or before, like even on zoom, you know, if you're in a zoom meeting with a bunch of people and you have that nervous energy, yes. you could just do some rounds of box <clears throat> breathing to bring your, your, um, state down your, you know, calm down your central nervous system into a place where you can actually talk confidently and not worry about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, I think that's just an easy way to do it. Another one you can do, and this is kind of fun, actually in a business meeting, if you have coworkers that would be up for this, or you could do this with your partner, or you could do it with friends or your children. Um, it is called the heart coherence breath. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, heart coherence. Yeah. And essentially what you're trying to do is just sync up your breath with somebody else. Ooh. And yeah. And then like, let's say for instance, you were in a business meeting before you're starting your meeting or even let's say, oh, let me just say, let's say that you were at dinner time and everybody's coming in from this and that and everything. And, and there's, you know, three or four of you sitting at the table and you want to like sync up before you start your meal and you start chatting about your days you could do heart coherence and essentially that is just doing five by five so you're doing you're counting five inhales you know your inhale for five seconds your exhale for five seconds your inhale for five seconds your exhale for five seconds and you just do that with whomever you are with in the room and then that sinks your breath up together and it sinks your heart up together and it brings that connection together so wow. that was a really cool one. That could um, be good for relationships too. I think so. Yes. And, and that, I'm going to talk about another one that's really good for relationships down. It's further down my list. Okay. <laughs> um, another one is, you know, syncing up your thoughts with your breath or doing positive affirmations with your breath. Ooh. And, you know, I am strong, you know, inhaling. I am strong exhaling. I am strong inhaling. I am strong exhaling. Just going back and forth, back and forth with that. Oh, I love that. One of the things I'd like to recommend too is, is for um, my clients to do affirmations. Mm -hmm. So this could be part of their morning routine while saying their affirmations, they could be also doing their breath work at the same yeah. time. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, yeah. Or if they're going for a walk, you know, just as you're walking, I am strong and just breathing in and out. Yeah. You know? I love that. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah. If anybody has comments as you're watching and what you've done or tried, drop it in below so we know A, you're here and what you've tried and what you like. So yes. go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So another one is a deep relaxation and they call it the four, seven, eight breath. Oh, Dr. Weir. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Weir. Yeah. 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 So this one is essentially you are inhaling for four, holding for seven, and then exhaling for eight. So you're exhaling double what you inhale. Right. So yeah. Do you want to do that one real quick? Yeah, well, let's do it. Okay. All right. I love being right. calm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The more that we can be in rest and digest, the better, right? Okay. So essentially, um, let's start with an inhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and then exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then you would just do that over and over again until you feel like you're in this, you know, you've come back into your body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And I think it's important too to, to note here that on the exhale is really <clears throat> focusing on exhaling all of that air out of mm. your belly and dropping your shoulders. Because a lot of times we do this throughout the day and that's where we get that stress. And when we can exhale and really push it out of your belly while you're still breathing mm. through your nose. I think another trick too that I've heard, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is if it's too hard for you to, to exhale out of your nose, if that seems too weird for you and you're not quite used to that, is you can open up your mouth just a wee bit like you're blowing through a straw yes. or even constricting your throat a little bit as you breathe out. It's almost like a deliberate mm. like exhale. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a great point. That's a great point. And there is nothing wrong with breathing in and out of our mouth, just as long as we don't do it the majority of time, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, like for instance, in yoga, they tell us to do a cleansing breath, right? Yes. And we might be in down dog and they'll say, okay, do two, two or three cleansing breaths. And they're like, inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. And you're getting some of that extra fire and that energy out to yes. cool yourself down. So that, that's, that's a wonderful technique as well. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling really calm. Now. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Um, another technique which I have invented myself. Okay, so <laughs> no, I call it the bubble breath, but I think there is actually a bubble breath for kids that um, could be very helpful if somebody wants to Google that for their children. It, that is learning how to actually use your breath to like actually like your Oh. like you're blowing bubbles. Like yeah. And that actually could be good for, for adults as well. So are but, you doing like little inhales? Like, or is it just more of a, like a, a push exhale? I feel like it's more of a push exhale. Yeah. It's a tiny inhale. And then, yeah, just, you know, focusing that breath on like your butt, like you're blowing bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. I'd yeah. Yeah. So I, I've got to come up with a name for this one because I was, I found out I can't use bubble breath, but I do this thing all the time. It's kind of goofy. It's kind of silly, but you know, if you ever have that situation where you have like a lot of pressure in your head and you're just starting to build up your, you know, just like, Ooh, just like pressure. Right. I mean, that when I get kind of anxious and like, let's say I'm at work and there's like a lot of things going on and I just really need a break, but I can't take a break. You know, I might do this thing like as I walk to the restroom or if I'm in the car, same thing. I mean, my 15 year old daughter just, I totally embarrass her with this one all the time. So and it's also useful for that. <laughs> yeah. It's really useful for embarrassing children. Yes. So, um, so essentially what you do is you just literally just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> just and it brings laughter, which is also good for us. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> oh I mean, God. for me, literally, I just did that and I can feel like energy just left my body. Like. Wait. Any kind of nervousness that I had about, you know, something on here, it's all gone. It's all yeah, gone. <laughs> now, of course, don't yeah. do it within six feet of anybody right now. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay to do on in your car by yourself. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's a good point. You might be spreading. <laughs> yes. Keep that one to yourself. So, it's all good. Um, oh my god, that's hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really have to. I have to come up with a name and I have to patent it. I mean, it's just it's so it's so useful. I'm telling you. Yes, it is useful <laughs> and so yes. easy, right? It's so easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Just I'll just pull that one out just occasionally, just to surprise somebody, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So we were talking about you know with partners and and that type of thing as well as some of the work that I'm doing with groups, there is a thing called conscious connected breath. Ooh. So conscious connected breath is, like I said, that's, that's one of the things that I do in my breath work journeys with groups, as well as with individuals to do some breath work therapy. Uh, conscious connected breath is an inhale followed by an exhale immediately. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's like you are picking up a tissue with your breath and then letting it go. Picking up a tissue, letting it go. And this conscious connected breath, um, there is no, no, in, or no pause between the inhale and exhale. It just keeps going, keeps going. And, and it's probably what you did when you were in Guatemala. In yeah, the breath work. It was um actually it was I, I'll do I'll do a it's yeah it's loud, you guys. Yeah. Fair warning. It's more like <sighs> <sighs> yes. So it yeah. was it was there was no break and it was very deliberate. It was very loud. It was um it was very much of a deliberate style breath, and that was for 50 minutes. <laughs> Yeah. It's great. And so, like I said, that puts you into a trans state, which by the way, can have some physical, uh, releases. So yeah. for me personally, I was feeling pain. <clears throat> mm. I was trying to push, I was using this hands and I was pushing, it was almost like I was expelling the pain out of my body. Oh. It was really so bizarre. Cool. Um, yeah. but when I tell you it was by far the most beautiful experience I've ever had mm -hmm. and the emotions that emerged from that and the trauma that was expelled for mm -hmm. me was incredible. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's very yeah. 
breathing. <clears throat> yeah, so going on these breathwork journeys, you know, they're available online with Zoom right now. There are many oh, wow. of them. Yeah, so we're doing it here in Kansas City. I'm doing it. People are doing it all over the globe. Um, but yeah, essentially you are doing a conscious connected breath and you, you, the forcefulness of it can be dependent upon who's guiding you. But it essentially is, you know, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And by doing that continuously, and one of the things we do in, in the guidance is we will kind of take you up on a journey, like you're going up to the top of a hill and then you're coming back down. And by doing that, you're kind of charging your breath and, and you're starting to move things through in, throughout your body, move those stuck emotions and feelings and um, trauma and all of that. Put it, take it up to the top of the mountain and take it down and out, right? So when you're, t when you're t teaching that or doing the instruction on it, is, is because there's no in-between breath and it's a continual, is there a certain count or is it just a free flow of what you feel is comfortable for you? Yeah, the pace, each person's pace, you know, they can go at their own pace. Yeah, so there is no count. It is just literally. <sighs> now, what, what I'll do in my guidance is then at certain points, okay, you can increase the, you know, the, paid, the pace of your breath and kind of charge the breath as you go up. So that's what a good guide or a good facilitator will help you to go on that journey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's not something that you want to do on your own. This is something that you want to do with a guide. Yeah. And, th yeah. and that was the thing too. And I definitely want to make sure that people know that or that are just joining late that some of this breath that we're showing you does need to be with a facilitator only because you can move into a trans like state. And if you don't have somebody that knows what they're doing, then it, you know, it could potentially not be the greatest experience um, yeah. because of the trauma that's being expelled. But some of the safer ones that we've covered, and if you're just <laughs> joining us, we talked about box breathing, Dr. Weir's method, which is a four, seven, eight breath. We talked about, um, oh, I loved it. What was that? Sinking affirmations. Oh, yeah. like I'm so excited about that. And heart <laughs> coherence, which is yeah. just sinking your breath up with somebody else that's in the room with you. Yeah. Or we were talking about couples, but you said you had another one too for that. Yeah. Yeah. So for couples, it's, it's essentially the, the conscious connected breath. Okay. Um, and, and you, are like facing each other and you're syncing up your breath. Mm. So, but you're doing the opposite. So let's say that, you know, I would take an inhale and then, um, you know, let, let me think about this. It's been a while since I've practiced this, <laughs> but you inhale and then they inhale and then you inhale. And as you're exhaling, they're inhaling and, and you're creating like a circle between the two of you. Oh. So you're facing each other and you're creating a mic, what they call a micro cosmic orbit. So it's oh, essentially wow. you're, you're essentially sharing breath. You're sharing the energy of your breath between the two of you. So you're just going back and forth, back and forth, creating this, you know, this nice orbit. Wow. And, and you can, in, in doing that also, you can sync up your chakras as you're oh, wow. facing each other. You're syncing up your heart chakra and your throat chakra and your third eye and your root chakra and your sac sacral chakra. You're just creating that syn synchronicity, oh, that, syn that. Syn synchronization, I should say. Yeah. I love that. Oh my gosh. This could be good for marriages too, you know? Yeah, that's right. What a nice exercise. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. This so many amazing. fun things we can do with this thing that is free, right? That is the thing. That is the thing that is we overlook, which is why I was excited to have you on, Melissa, because for most of us, we do live in this past past fast paced world and we have so much stress and pressure on us and now you know obviously we're in a state of craziness right now with covid and everything else that's going on in our country and we are not sure about a lot of things there's so much uncertainty and mm -hmm. we have uncertainty that does move us into this um sympathetic state where we're not sure what we should be doing and we freeze and we go into this uh, anxiety state. So for to have something as easy and free as breath, right. it is by <clears throat> far 
one of the most beautiful things that I love to talk about and, um, and really encourage people to do. And I was joking with a client the other day. She was like, I just don't, you know, I like, I don't know when I have time. I said, listen, even if you're just going to, you know, tinks real quick in the bathroom, you could do it then. <laughs> like find a way to just fit it in. I right. mean, it only takes a second for you to calm your breath or at a stoplight or at a stop sign or whatever that is. I actually, um, even my physical therapist that we were talking about, um, you know, like having a stressful day. And I said, listen, even when you're charting for your patients, you could just make it a habit of every time you go to the computer to write your notes on that patient that you're just, you're taking a moment to breathe. And if you get in the habit of doing this, it actually provides you with energy, clarity mm -hmm. for our minds, mm -hmm. as well as bring down that our, our entire autonomic nervous system comes to a calm yeah. state. There's so many benefits, so many benefits. So many. Yeah. yeah. It's just, Any yeah. last parting words or how people could find you or if they're mm -hmm. interested in having you facilitate a breath work? Experience? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Well, for now, they just find me on Facebook. Uh, Carrie will tag me. And um, I don't have a website or a Facebook page or anything yet, but I will very, very soon. <laughs> yes. Well, we're excited. And you can also find Melissa on Instagram and I can yes. put your handle. Oh yes, up. certainly Instagram. Her. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Thank you for being here, Melissa. Yeah. Thank just... you for having me. It was good yes. to see you. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode and for further episodes and videos that we do in the group, either join us at Question the Drink, private Facebook group, or check back here on this YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.